Hello and welcome. I've stolen a Dustin Furlow phrase today at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I have got a really, really cool honor. I get to present the new Jeff Jewett guitar to you guys. So this is something that we kind of worked back and forth and looked at different options and specs and we just kind of shot for the moon on this one. and. and Jeff knocked it out of the frickin' park. Wow, Jeff. Just wow. So let's get into this lovely Cedar Rock build. So we have a master grade Italian spruce top. And this is the first time that Jeff has worked with Italian. And he did a stellar job. Now, look at how beautiful that Italian. I mean, there's no, no marks. No bad lines, every grain line is perfect. Um, this is one of the, the cleanest Italian spruce tops I've ever seen. Now, as you can see, there's a little hint of what's coming. Look at that gorgeous Coca Bolo rosette. So, there's no words needed. Just have, have, have a look at that. That is some of the most gorgeous Coca Bolo I've ever seen. And furthermore, Jeff worked really hard to do this continuing line all the way around the side that continues and flows through the butt graft, comes all the way around, and then reconnects in through there to meet at the neck. I just, wow. Um, that's one of the coolest come-togethers I've seen with the grains and all together like that. So again, Awesome job, Jeff. So uh, originally we had thought about doing ebony binding all the way around, but Jeff said, you know what? I've got this Brazilian. And how about we put a little maple purfling to make it look like gold rope all the way around? Brilliant idea. And he, look at that. It just, it's got this chocolatey essence with that brass and, and that maple all the way around the back and sides like that. and. Furthermore, Jeff had been listening to some of the things that we said about side fret dots here and being able to see it in a stage. So he made sure to do some real large mother of pearl um, side inlay dots that are just popping perfectly in the light. Now, the neck is a little different. It's a little wider than his normal guitars. It is um, one and 25, 30 second at the nut. 
and two and five sixteenths at the style. So it's a true wide spec finger style instrument. So another thing that I want to mention about this awesome Jewett guitar. The last one that I had played was actually Engelman Top. But Jeff did something really interesting and he put Addy bracing underneath of the hood. And that gave it just a little extra horsepower. So when we were talking about this one, even though it's an Italian top, he went ahead and put that Addy bracing in there for just an extra throttle at the end. It's awesome. We talked extensively about the shape of this neck and we wanted to try to keep it as much like a flat C all the way up and down as possible. That way so that if you're doing complex finger style, your thumb pretty much feels the same anywhere that you go. That way so you, that you got a good foundation there underneath of your hand. Now, another thing that I really want to mention that he did a killer job of, this rosette is actually the side cutouts from the back. Uh, and he was able to make that just look perfect with the flow of the instrument. Um, now, as I said, it's got Brazilian binding all the way around. It's also got a Brazilian rosewood fretboard. So that energy and density transfers directly from the neck to the body. It doesn't get lost. Um, and furthermore, he matched the flow of this grain up into this head cap here that is also a really gorgeous set of Brazilian with this kind of cat eye um, inlay that he did there. And it's also got a Brazilian back cap. We're only gonna say Brazilian one more time, but it's, it's one of my favorite parts. Look at that end graft. It almost looks like a lightning bolt, but it's got some sapwood and different colors in there. And really this is, I, I have drooled over this instrument from the very start. Uh, I'm dehydrated now. But the guitar gave me a good, <laughs> a good quench. This thing sounds unreal. For it to be, I mean, brand new. Look at that. Good big open sound. Um, it sounds larger than your standard OM, even though this is Jeff's OM. Wow. Stellar instrument. So if you've got any further questions um, about anything on this instrument, make sure that you message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and stick around for the videos. And thanks for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.